Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I am your host, Liam, and today I just have another buddy read announcement. As I previously mentioned in a other video and several other videos, I'm going to be reading Sword and Sorcery and other such things like Sword and Planet and whatever in November. And so along with that, the buddy read is going to be a Sword and Sorcery novel. I chose the novel I chose to kind of bridge a gap in a sense. So I chose Robert Jordan's Conan the Invincible, which this is an omnibus that has his first three Conan novels. So Conan the Invincible is the first one in here. I also post an image of what some other versions look like. And you know, I hear that it's a pretty poor pastiche of Conan. And I've heard that from several people on Discord that have, you know, are very familiar with Conan and Sword and Sorcery. Michael K. Vaughn even said it was pretty bad. That's the quote. And you know, in my mind, though, I really, really like Robert Jordan's writing style, and I really liked his War of the Altai. Now, I read that a couple years ago when I wasn't very familiar with Sword and Sorcery at all. In fact, I'd probably say it was the first Sword and Sorcery novel I ever read. This is the first Conan novel Robert Jordan ever published, but I believe it's also the first novel he ever published, ever. And I wanted, like I said, to bridge a gap between people who enjoy some high and epic fantasy and people who enjoy Sword and Sorcery to so might want to read this with me and the, bring their opinions to the table because I enjoy Jordan's writing style. And like I said, I hear he doesn't really do a great Conan. I feel like it may still be a good story. And Robert Jordan is someone that a lot of people who just read epic or high fantasy, he's definitely more famous for writing The Wheel of Time. It's not a very long novel at all. It should have some still good action uh, like Sword and Sorcery is known for and like Conan is known for specifically. And so I hope you'll join me in reading this short book and get a little bit of a taste of Sword and Sorcery. For people who are already fans of Sword and Sorcery, I don't want you to read a terrible book. I honestly don't think it will be terrible. I just, I, the biggest thing I heard is that he doesn't write Conan very well, but we shall see, right? And I want people who are not so familiar to be able to join with me. I could have chosen another book. If you had any other recommendations for Sword and Sorcery, let me know, but this will be our read for November. The other ones I had planned on reading already in November, they just don't really have the catch, I feel like. They don't have the popularity, and I don't want to be reading a book by myself. And so, <laughs> I want at least one other person to join me, and I believe Nico from Nico's Book Reviews did mention that he would, probably. Well, I think Rinfail also mentioned he would maybe join me as well. And so, anyways, if you do feel like joining me with, in November reading Conan the Invincible, even if that is only the only sword and sorcery you want to read, let me know. Let me know. And... Let me know what you plan on reading in November, and if you plan on reading any sort of sorcery, I'd also just encourage you to do that since a lot of it is very digestible and short. If you need any recommendations, well, I have a few videos you can watch. Anyways, this has been Liam with Liam's Lyceum. I'll catch you next time.